question yeah. for you. Do, do you yeah. think meditation has helped you in those moments being able, cause I know for me, like being able to actually be in those moments and kind of take a step back. And I know you've been yeah. into meditation. Do yeah. You that's helped you at all. Oh yeah, that's definitely for sure. I mean, um, especially, you know, through headspace, there's this course I'm taking on managing anxiety through meditation. And, and that's one of the big principles that you have to learn is like, a lot of what you go through in mental health conditions, though you experience physical side effects, it's mental health for a reason, right? And so you have to learn to be able to control your mind and the way that you think about these things, especially for me with anxiety, it's like, I have an anxious moment or I'm having anxiety about having anxiety and then I get anxiety and then I just spiral and spiral and spiral. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's the craziest thing. And um, I found it helpful just to try and remember one of the, the principles that I've been trying to implement is just keeping in perspective what the situation is. And um, as they call it, it's like, I, I don't know what the phrase is, but they always call it like just acknowledging it. It's like, okay, I feel this and that's it. Like acknowledge the feeling and then move on from it. And I think it's so easy, like I talked about and you mentioned to really dwell on what you're going through and not be able to see in the future or past that moment. But when you're able to say like, okay, this is what I'm going through and this is what I'm feeling. And it, you know, not that it's nothing more than that, like to dismiss it, but just like I'm acknowledging it and I'm moving on from it. Um, I feel like has been helpful for me. Um, what about you, Retro? Do you feel like that? I, I know you're big on meditation too. Like, like just said, has has been keeping kind of perspective and meditation um, allowed you to to be able to do that. Uh, yeah, meditation has definitely been like a key thing huge thing for me it's been so helpful it's like a tool that i wish you know that was talked about more because even if i can't get in like a full session like a full 15 minute sit down i can just do two minutes of breath work and even if i am still a little ramped up it brought me down in just two minutes like hours of the day hours of hours worth of stress just got reduced in two minutes it's like amazing that we can yeah. just do that without having to visit a doctor or anything so yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely been super helpful. And sometimes I find myself wanting to take it further. Like, oh, what's this yoga about? Like, let me see what's going on. <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely been, it's been super helpful. And I would definitely, you know, suggest to everyone who's here right now to, to give it a shot. It really yeah. makes a difference. <laughs> well, just, um, you know, with meditation, like, I'm curious what that journey has looked like for you. Because I'll tell you, like, for me, when... I heard about meditation. I always imagine like, you know, these really weird people in the middle of the forest, like meditating and doing some weird Zen stuff. You know what I mean? Like I didn't fully understand what meditation was. And in fact, I don't think I ever would have tried to get to know had I not been dealing with some really bad anxiety and trying to figure out a solution. So for you, what kind of drew you to, to meditation? And did you have any misconceptions about it before you started implementing it into your life? Uh, yeah, I think with me, it was just um, really just having a lot of anxiety um, and trying to figure out what other ways I can deal with this. Um, and I think, you know, what you brought up is what's really taught me is just being able to acknowledge when you're feeling it. Um, yeah. You know, one thing that the meditation teaches is like, it's not bad what you're feeling like it's not like stress is not bad for you like depression it's like there's nothing wrong with it but it is great to be able to acknowledge it in that moment and once i started meditating being able to acknowledge in the moment helped me being able to change it you know if you were if you uh for example um I'm trying to think of something that would stress me out you get me getting text messages at 11 o'clock at night i would yeah. be worried that it is somebody that wants me to come into the studio right now um to go do a midnight session till nine o'clock in the morning so being able to acknowledge that, that I don't like text messages at nine o'clock or at 11 o'clock at night, I went, all right, let's put on screen time. Do not disturb. It's going to come on at 10 o'clock. So by 11 o'clock, I'm not going to be bothered by these messages anymore. And yeah. that really helped us being able to acknowledge what is triggering you, why it is triggering you and what you can do to navigate that route on fixing it. <laughs> 